Have you ever felt? Are you listening? Damn. All right, this is a this is a fun little bugger slash leech to tie. Yeah, like a lot of buggers and leeches, you can tie them in a bunch of different colors, but uh, this is one of my favorites. Kind of a burnt orange brown uh, style. Um, you can also, if you wanted to add some weight, uh, you could put a bead on there or some uh, lead-free wire, some lead underneath here, but we're just going to go with unweighted. Usually fish this with an intermediate or sinking line um, so you can get it down a little ways. But we'll just start by dressing the hook and back to the bend. Okay, on the tail, we're going to use some Whiting Super Boo. And this is a really fine uh, marabou that's that's great for buggers and leeches. It has very fine tapered tips, not much broken, matted down, um, and you get a big old patch of it when you buy it. So this is uh, this is good stuff. So we'll basically just take one one feather, and you don't have to tear any of the marabou off the sides. It's not terribly long anyway. And so what I like to do is just bring that up to a point and um, we'll end up tying this whole thing in, but we're uh, just going to measure it out to about there, about the body length or so. And then I Usually you just like to incorporate the rest of that into the body. Give it a little bit more bulk and then we'll chop it off right before the eye. And back down. And with everything we do on this pattern, we want to leave a little bit of space here. We're going to build up a head and we don't want to crowd ourselves. So the next thing I'm going to do is grab five or six strands of Crystal Flash. And uh, this is root beer. And so we'll just make those the same length as the tail. Like that. Right now the body's going to consist of a few different things and we'll tie them in reverse order. So the things that we want to come up last we'll put in first. So the very last thing that we will put in on this one is going to be our wire. And that's to use UTC small or brassy. You can use uh, copper or copper brown or vary it according to uh, what you're going to be tying. Tie that in there, and then second to last thing, we're gonna grab our bugger bling. And so bugger bling is a kind of a foil, mylar, semi-translucent pre-cut. And they come in, actually this is half, so it's usually another piece there. I cut them in half because I like to use these just on the top. So I'll tie this in, uh, notice it sticks to my thumb, it's sticky. So sticky side up, and we'll just tie that right in at the end. And you need to be careful because this stuff's fairly fragile, and so you don't want to do tight, tight wraps right there. And But we do want this uh, on the top, like so. Okay, a couple more things. Uh, just like any bugger, you're going to go with some Wooly Bugger Hackle. And this is from a bugger pack. So Whiting has these uh, great bugger specific hackles. And if you've paid attention to the hackle world in the last 5-10 years, the focus has been smaller and smaller 
and finer hackle. And what was lost, lost kind of for a while there was good bugger sized or bigger sized hackles. So um, Whiting's come out with these bugger packs and they're all fairly consistently sized 12 to eights and some sixes even, but uh, very convenient, tons of good colors and it's not gonna break your bank like buying a big saddle. So I'll pluck off a piece of the hackle. And what I like to do is I like to tie it in uh, at the end here, and I like to strip off some bare uh, stem. So I have the point here, and what I'll do is I wanna tie that in right along that bare stem. And the reason I do that is because as I start to wrap this, uh, I don't have hackle fibers being bound down as I begin the first wrap. So that's what the, uh, the bare stem will give me there. And so I'll just tie that in. And then the last thing that we'll do here is I'm going to grab um, my dubbing loop tool, turbo dubbing spinner, and I'm going to make a dubbing loop. This is what we'll use to put our semi seal in. And before we do that, nip that off. And this uh, doesn't need to be very big. It's a very sparse, short loop. And it's just going to help us build up a nice buggy body. So we're going to use Arizona Semi Seal. So the theme that I'm doing here is uh, more of kind of brownish, burnt orange, and this uh, Canadian brown does a good job. So I'm going to take about four just smallish clumps of the dubbing and make a dubbing loop. And once I've got the dubbing in, we'll spin this. Now spin that up good. It creates a nice core. And then what I like to do is brush out a little bit of the fibers before I wrap this one. We'll brush it out in the end too. And you pull some of those fibers back out. And to get started here, what I'll, I'll build up my body just starting here at the end and I just don't want to bind down any of the other materials here and so now that I've got that you can do this a couple ways you can hold your bobbin with your pinky like Cheech does or you can do it the winner's way and use your middle finger and hold it off to the side and then just use your rotary tool to pull that right up to that tie-off point. Again, to, uh, not to the eye. You want to leave some space there. And then we'll tie that off and trim it. Um, now I'm going to take my hackle and just pull that through the body. Not very thick. Just barber pull it on up. And you'll notice that it's creating a nice segmented looking body. It's not looking super great, but we're going to take care of that here in a little bit. Now we can just clean up that tie-in point. We don't want a ton of bulk just yet. Okay, it doesn't matter that the head looks ratty, it's gonna be all hidden here. But one thing I do wanna do is I want to brush out the top. So we're gonna get dig up some of those dubbing fibers that were bound down by our hackle, and we just pull them straight up. Now it's a big old messy clump there on top. And I'm gonna come in here and just trim that flush. And then once it's trimmed, I can take my bugger bling. 
and you'll notice that uh, it is sticky so it just kind of sticks there and what we want to do is just very lightly wrap this tie-in point here and I say lightly because this stuff will tear if you're not careful and so we'll just give it some light wraps at first and then start to pull it down And then as I hold it tight here, I can twist that right off. Okay, the next thing that we'll do is we're going to grab our wire and we're going to come up through the little ribby indentations there on the bugger, on the bugger bling. And you kind of have to move your wire back and forth so you don't trap down any of the hackle. And we just come in there and trim that. Okay, this next little step is pretty important because uh, this will strengthen and help give some body to the fly. So I'll take some UV clear fly finish and thick and I'm going to put one layer of this on if you have to use your bodkin and spread it out a little bit it's cool too pretty even and we'll get it with the light And then the second uh, type of UV finish that we're going to use is the, the fluorescing. This stuff's really cool. And it's just basically flow, so it's got a very thin consistency. And, uh, but it's got some fluorescing properties to it. And tag that with the light too. And you can see how that really just lights up. Okay, now that we're this far, we're going to take our, our brush again and tease out some of these fibers. It gives it some body. Nice thing is with the, uh, the Loon clear UV fly finish on there, and the wire stuff's not going anywhere, so you can really dig in there. As long as you don't catch the front stem of your hackle or something crazy, you'll be good. Okay, there we are to there. And again, the head's still looking nasty. But we're going to cover that right up. So I've grabbed my Coque de Leon hen saddle and what I've done is I've gotten a piece that has some fibers that are about the body length and shorter and I preen those back then I take the tip and preen those and I want about the body length so now I've got it preened in this again just the body length right there like that and we'll flip that around and tie it in tip first right behind our last little point there you got to be careful here because this could be a little slippery because there's often some uh, resin on that end and then i'll work the thread down to the front and you build up a little bit of a head here else everything's going to be slipping around but once that's in there you can actually just pluck that tag end off okay once we've got that in there we're just going to you can you can preen these back a little bit um, but I found that it'll spin on you anyway, so it's just good to kind of keep track of it as you, as you wrap. And just the uh, one wrap in front of the next as you move down towards the eye. And then 
Got to keep track of where you marked that uh, length. Usually I strip those off, but now I'm going to pull everything back. And this is just to reinforce and to force my fibers back against the body. So you just grab all the fibers and then we're just going to build up a nice head on the top of that. Yeah, like that. And then I can come in here and grab that big thick stem and just snip that right off. Okay, that looks clean. We'll go ahead and whip finish. And now as a final step, I'm just going to take some more of the fluorescing finish and make a nice shiny head. And then one little final step, we can take our brush and just brush out any of the fibers here and then lay into it with some Velcro. And the idea in this, when it gets, when it's in the water, the, uh, the soft tackle here at the front will taper back to the rear. We'll get a little bit of that bling coming through and it's a good bugger slash leech pattern, but they're fun to tie and you can tie them in a bunch of different colors.